guys, and welcome back to Chemistry 1032 instructional video. I am your host, Dr. Russell Betts, and I'll be guiding you through Chapter 6, Carbohydrates, The Sweet Life. All right. First things first, let's classify some of these monosaccharides, or some of these carbohydrates. First thing you have to learn, monosaccharide. Saccharide means sugar. So a monosaccharide simply means one sugar unit. Nothing really outstandingly difficult there. I don't think. I'm sure all of you have it. Common carbohydrate, common monosaccharide is glucose, has the basic formula C6H12O6. Monosaccharides contain carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, three elements to make very complicated molecules. So that's kind of neat how nature has done that. Disaccharides consist of two monosaccharides joined together. Simple enough, right? A disaccharide can be split into two monosaccharides. So if you have a disaccharide such as sucrose, like table sugar, sucrose, it can be split into the monomers or the monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. Pretty simple. Monosaccharide, one sugar unit. Disaccharide, two sugar units. And of course, polysaccharide being 10 or more monosaccharide units joined together. All right, so there you have it. Monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides. Now, polysaccharides are sometimes referred to as starches, and they're just uh, chains of glucose, just numerous, chain, numerous glucose molecules bonded together. We'll talk more about those uh, later on. And here you go. Here's a monosaccharide. There's a sugar unit. As you can see, it's a six-member ring with an oxygen in the right-hand corner. There's a disaccharide. Here's something we didn't talk about. They're called oligosaccharides. They're up to nine uh, monomers joined together. And polysaccharide is 10 up to, look at that, 10,000 monomers or monosaccharides joined together. Just to give you an idea of the scale of these things, 10,000 sugar units. Wow. It's a lot. It's pretty serious. All right. 6.2. We're going to just do 6.1 and 6.2 together because they're quite short uh, little chapter segments. So we'll do them together. 6.2. Now, remember we talked about the classes of compounds a little while ago, and in, probably in chapter 4. So we have to kind of remind ourselves about a few things. Here, this is an aldehyde. And this is aromatic. And this is also an aldehyde. So there we have aldehydes. Okay, you have to remember what these things are. Because now in sugar chemistry, they're coming back. There are basically um, two types of sugars. There's uh, ketone-based sugars and aldehyde-based sugars. Now remember, a ketone has the structure that looks something like this, right? There's acetone, for example. We went over these before, so if you don't remember them, uh, do a little bit of work. Uh, go and find them in your notes. Remember what they are. This is a ketone. How do I know? Well, it's got a carbonyl with carbon-based groups on both sides. That's how I know it's a ketone. So remember what ketones and aldehydes are. Very important that you know what, you've, what we've already gone over. It's very important that you learn it and remember it, okay? Now, here is a sugar. Here is a different sugar. This sugar has an aldehyde. And this sugar has a ketone. Okay, aldehyde, ketone. Two very important uh, families of compounds that you have to know, aldehyde sugars and ketone sugars. Now, we don't call them aldehyde and ketone sugars. We have, oops, excuse me. We have other names for them. Aldose being aldehyde containing, ketose being ketone containing. It's nice, right? Aldehyde starts with A, aldose starts with A. Ketone starts with K, Ketose starts with K. So let's go back one. This is an aldose. This is a ketose. Aldehyde containing, ketone containing. Aldehyde containing sugar is called aldose. Ketone containing sugar is called ketose. I think that's very simple. I think you guys are all going to do well on that part. So here's an example. Is the following carbohydrates or are the following carbohydrates, ketose or aldose? Let's start here. 
and there should be it's missing something here there we go those should be hydrogens right there but that they're kind of irrelevant so is this sugar ketose or eldose and all you gotta do is look for the carbonyl which is right there and this is a ketone so the sugar itself is ketose it's a ketone containing monosaccharide this is aldehyde. So this is aldose. It's an aldehyde containing sugar. All right, so there's 6.1 and 6.2, very short videos. But what we went over is very important. We're going to come back in another video, subsequent video, 6.3. We're going to talk about Fisher projections. All right, guys? So uh, go ahead and do the quiz, come back and do 6.3. I know the segment's really short, that's okay. Uh, it's better to take it in smaller chunks because uh, sugar chemistry can get pretty complicated pretty fast. So come on back after you've done the quiz and we'll move on to Fisher projections. All right, guys. Good luck. Good chemistry.